Guilty. That's the verdict a Baldwin County jury returned in an assault trial involving a man who shot a trespassing teenager. News 5's Pat Peterson has an update on the Mike Moss birdshot assault trial from the courthouse in Baymanette. Mike Moss waited outside the courtroom for six long and uncomfortable hours for the verdict, a verdict that could send him to prison for a decade. I understand. The Barnwell man would not talk to us as he discussed the case with his attorney, but Moss briefly mumbled he was zoned out while the jury deliberated. Just after two, the jury reached a unanimous verdict. Moss was guilty of second-degree assault in the shooting of a trespassing teen. They paid very close attention throughout the trial, and we, we couldn't be happier with the verdict. Deeply disappointed with the decision they reached in this case. Moss shot Kristen Valenti with a shotgun loaded with birdshot in May 2014 when he confronted the then 19-year-old Marine in his backyard. Valenti was running from police who had just busted an open house party in the Barnwell community near Fairhope and was looking for a place to hide when the confrontation happened. The guilty verdict indicates the jury did not believe self-defense or a stand-your-ground defense applied in this case. You can protect your property, but it's never okay to take an, a weapon, aim it at someone, and shoot them in the back. It's just not acceptable. Absolutely, he didn't do anything wrong. He believes that. He was on his own property. He never intended to cause the harm. He came at me with the shotgun, hit me in the face, then shot me in the back. Valenti says he's glad the trial is over, admitted he should not have been on Moss's property, and told me he's learned a lesson. I won't be attending anymore underage shrinking parties or crossing through anyone's yard. Moss is free on bond. He'll be sentenced January 26th. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. Christian Valente is now 21 years old. Valente is in the Marine Reserves and is attending Troy University, where, ironically, he's majoring in criminal justice.